a really disappointing injury to Rod Moore, reportedly tore his ACL in practice. Um, it, it's one that that just stings. Like as you know, you know, we cover this guy, and he's one of my favorite guys to to cover and talk to and listen to and watch play football. He's made so many big plays over the years, going back to his freshman season. Uh, but obviously, the pick against Ohio State last year to seal it. You know, calling game as he called it. Uh, you know, against the the team that didn't recruit him. Uh, but here's my thing: is like you have Macari Page, you have Quentin Johnson coming back. That was a huge, huge addition. Now, especially with the Rod Moore injury, but Rod Moore was a difference maker, and it's hard to find those guys. It really is, and you know, we will report it when it's made public. Um, and we've talked to Michigan about it. You know, we understand what happened and the severity of the injury. We don't believe he'll be, will be back in 2024. I know that a lot of people said, well, we hope that he comes back and he has one of those quick returns like Jake Ryan. But more, more first and foremost, the most important thing is him healing up and getting better and not coming back too soon. Does this mean he's coming back in 2025 for a fifth year? Who knows more than anything again, I just want the kid to heal and to reach his potential in terms of getting a full recovery and, and his NFL potential, because that's where he's going to make his money. And, uh, you know, the sad irony here that, you know, he chooses to come back and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, hopefully let's just put it this way. Hopefully there, he has an insurance policy or had an insurance policy. And if not, I think that's something else that the NCAA needs to explore for some of these kids to encourage them to stay in school in addition to NIL. So, but Rod Moore, uh, one of my favorite Wolverines ever, and that's saying something, guys. Just the way he plays, just the way he carries himself. We're going to try to get him on a podcast. Uh, Doug Skeen and I are here in the next few weeks when things kind of settle down and if he has a surgery and everything else. But uh, hopefully people will go to his page and support his NIL products, his shirts and everything else. Remember, I think it was called Game. Uh, was it one yeah, of the? He put it on a T-shirt. He called yeah. game. And he put it on a game, and yeah. uh, and really, uh, he was right. So, but uh, miss seeing him out there. Some guys are going to have to step up. We've already heard, and we put in an ITF yesterday inside the fort that there are some guys making moves. Makari Page, I think, is going to have his best year. He's going to have to be more vocal now, fellas. You're going to need some of those leaders to step up. But uh, this is a guy that is really, really hard to replace. They played with him for what? Without four games last year. I think they played without him. So getting Quentin Johnson back at this point is really huge too. And I think they're probably still going to have to go to get somebody in the portal as well. Yeah. I'm writing about the, the Rod Moore contingency plan uh, right now, so to speak. And, and it revolves around obviously those two guys that you mentioned, Quentin Johnson, uh, Makari page. Um, but then you've got those guys on the back, you know, Zeke Barry last year was someone who I thought um, after RJ Moten transferred in the spring, was going to have a shot to to maybe work his way into the role that Keon Saab eventually had. Then he gets injured. I, I think that Zeke Barry is an up-and-comer that will play a role in all of this. Uh, Brandon Hillman, something I liked. Uh, you know, We've heard good things about him uh, early on in spring. The other thing is um, you know, he quoted something that – it's not something that Chris said, but it is something that Chris just said on the show. Just where, said, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, he he sent out a tweet that said uh, Michigan needs to land an impact DB in the transfer portal in quotes as kind of self-motivation. So he's a guy that I think is, is taking the opportunity and taking maybe what people are even saying about the situation uh, as fuel, uh, as, as as something to get himself uh, mentally into the mix there. And, and physically, I think he's already in the mix in terms of the things that we've heard about his play so far. So Again, you know, when you lose a Rod Moore, a guy who is so, you know, they they track, they were tracking how much film you could watch via the iPads and things like that. And Rod Moore was a guy that always, uh, Jim Harbaugh would say, was at the top of that list. So um, talking about being a film junkie earlier with with uh, with Dusty May, Rod Moore is uh, certainly a guy that, you know, le lives and breathes the sport as well. So you lose that, you lose the instincts, you lose the playmaking. I think maybe his two best games at Michigan – uh, we're probably in those college football playoff games. Certainly the Rose Bowl. I think he was outstanding. So, yeah, I mean, it, it sucks and it hurts. And that's a guy that probably still will be a captain um, this fall. But, man, oh, man, um, to lose a player like that this early in the offseason. And maybe that's the silver lining of it. Like, if he does, if he is able to make some kind of miraculous recovery uh, and you play into mid-January again, maybe there's an outside shot there. But at this point, I think you kind of have to roll with the guys that you have. And 
um, let them grow from there. So uh, just a, just a blow for this, for this team from a leadership standpoint, from an on field production standpoint. And um, like I said, one of our favorites. So you wish him the best moving forward. We had the best producer, by the way, gets, goes out and gets that tweet. Good job, Megan. And uh, even though she didn't use my simply dusty CD cover, uh, which really hurt uh, that Isaiah hole made for us. So maybe someday, uh, but yeah, Brandon Hillman, man, I'm, I'm excited to see him We're hearing some good things about him. There are plenty of athletes on this team, guys. Uh, there's plenty of team speed on defense. Going to be really, really exciting to see how it comes together. Did you like DM him that Michigan needs to add an impact DB in the transfer portal? I, he probably read my, my article. <laughs> it's like, you know what? I, but we're not the only ones saying it. And everybody is, uh, you know what? Prove us, prove it to us, buddy. Go out there and, and take care of business and, uh, and do what you need to do. And I'll tell you what, if they can, if they can somehow get past the, the Rodmore injury without too much damage, then boy, uh, then this defense is going to be really, really good. Cause boy, he was something special. No doubt. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that was the point of the tweet. He's motivated by it. And it's time for those guys to step up you know, like Rod Moore did when he was young uh, and they needed him to step in. So and I'm sure he'll be there, you know, every step of the way with those guys to help them out.